Hello, Dr. Monica here, and how are you? Today, I am going to talk to you about protein drinks. Yes, protein drinks. You know, I get some pushback from my patients, and that's why I wanted to go through it. This is a great way for people to have uh, another meal during the day, uh, a small plate, if you will. It could be in the form of a protein drink. So um, some of the pushback, I think, is because it still a little uh, mystifies them to some degree. Um, and let's go through that. Before I jumped on this video, I went and I looked at some other videos, and I did notice something, and I think this is part of maybe the problem, that people were putting in wonderful things like uh, mango, which is a, um, a tropical fruit, um, oats perhaps, along with flax seeds, along with pumpkin seeds. Now, everything I just mentioned, huge carbohydrates. And I think that's what sets some people back, is that can I make a protein drink without that stuff? Surely you can. And in my drink that I'm going to show you, and that's what we're ultimately going to get at here, is my five ingredients, a go-to shake that you can have, a protein shake, a protein meal that's not going to have the carbs, it's going to be metabolically stable. You know, I'm always going for that. And even though those things are good that I just mentioned that a lot of people are putting in the shakes, none of this goes into our shake, um, what we're going to talk about in that five ingredients. So with that said, um, I, I want to also explain a couple of other things. I think people are daunted. It's, what kind of protein do I get? Of course, I'm always going to advocate a plant-based protein. Um, there's many, many types. That's what we're going to go through, too. But basically, I'm going to just talk that, say it now, and it's one of the ingredients, plant-based protein with um, f four or three even carbohydrates. And I'm going to give a shout-out to two companies that um, I really like their product. Um, understand too, back at the, um, let me give you a little bit of perspective here. I said to you, I'm going to talk to you about that uh, protein drink that has, uh, it has 18 carbs. That's what I wanted to say to you. 18 carbohydrates at the end. You're drinking 18 carbs. You're drinking an ample, approximately 20 grams of protein. And that's really the short and the long of it because you just really, in between, we want it to taste good. We're really not re relying on these protein drinks for fat, but if you wanted to add fat, you could certainly, of course, fat kind of folds into any kind of liquid that you're going to be churning like that very well, okay? And uh, so all those ingredients that people put in, the seeds and the, the crushed flax seeds and so forth, excellent, but just excellent for them, excellent for good taste. But again, my metabolic group over here, we're not going to be doing that. And I'm going to get to that in a second, my five ingredients. I did want to mention, just keep in mind, approximately a third of a cup of flaxseed that you would put into that drink, okay, just for perspective, is going to give you anywhere from about 12, could give you up to 20 grams of carbs. Uh-uh. Our whole drink's going to be 18, like I said. Um... Let me say something about getting there as well. Uh, y y you want to have the right tools, okay? The right tools, as far as I'm concerned, would be a Vitamix, something in the, in the Ninja family, in, in that uh, machinery, or a Nutribullet, of course. These things have evolved so much, I wouldn't even dare to say. I will dare to say this. They have excellent... Um, uh, the, they come with the, the cups that you screw on the base, and they uh, blend, and I mean they really blend. And the reason I cite those and it's so important to use something that's really going to blend is we're talking about adding uh, vegetables and we're talking about adding fruit. So you wouldn't want to be chewing on that stuff. It's called a blender and the old days. But these things really blend. And, uh, and um, so look into them. See what's best for your family. They have so many attachments and so many bells and whistles these days that I think they're a very useful product and you would get, and certainly you can make an excellent protein drink out of them. So without further ado, let's go over to what I'm calling my go-to drink and what you're not going to waste product on. Uh, when I say product, I mean buying a bunch of things that are going to sit on your counter or in your shelf and go bad, okay? So let's start and you'll see what I mean. Um, first ingredient is ice. I like ice in my protein drink, okay? I think it gives frothy and got to have a cold, right? I mean, to me, got to be cold. Ice, okay. 
Second thing is almond or some type of coconut milk. So it's a plant-based milk. They tend to be a little frothier. They tend to lend very well to, um, to something that gets blended. And at a half a cup, some of them are one and some of them are two carbs, okay? But look for that. And of course, you'd want to lean towards the unsweetened. The next thing is a third of a cup of veggie. I personally keep um, Cascading Farms, shout out to them. I'll do one third cup of their frozen spinach. It's organic, it's cut, it's cooked, and it goes right into the drink. Now it is cooked, I say, but you can also do a third of fresh vegetables. Anything here that's a green leafy fits, okay? And I get a little bit fancy sometimes. I'll throw in, really, I'll throw in celery if I have it. But again, it's in the same category of that, of a category one vegetable, okay? Not a starchy vegetable and not a legume, okay? A half a cup of berries. So it's a half a cup of, um, a strawberry, half a cup of blackberry, half a cup of um, maybe raspberry. Raspberries, be careful, they're very seedy. So what we're looking at is something alternate to blueberries, okay, but you're pushing up the carbohydrates a little bit, all right? Now, so that's a half a cup of the berries, and there's an or. You can do a half of a medium banana, but be, be aware that most of us see very many times in, in uh, our chain stores the bananas are huge, so you have to kind of come back down to portion and what a medium banana really means and just use half of that. Okay, last but not least, our protein. And like I said, I was going to be specific. So right now I'm looking at my notes, and I wrote this down. I'm using a Garden of Life sport drink a lot, and it's, of course, the protein drink. It, I believe it only comes in vanilla and chocolate is all we use. comes in a big old tub. I like it because... Uh, I. I really understand that a lot of people, and this is a, a, one of the considerations, think that a protein drink can be gritty or, you know, or have some kind of um, thick, chalky taste. Boy, I, I can't believe how many of the patients say that this is really good and that they don't get it from that one. So that's the Garden of Life. And the other one I'm really, really liking that I use is Amazing Grass is the company. So it's Amazing Grass Protein, and if you look for that, um, they have, I think, a peanut butter chocolate that's actually divine. We have it in the office. I've used it. <laughs> I ask for it. And then they have a chocolate and vanilla. So this is the short and the long of protein drinks. you got my, oh, let me mention something before I forget. So as you're doing that, only a half a cup of perhaps almond milk or coconut milk, and you put all that stuff in a blender, you're going to add water because it's not going to blend, okay, with just that much liquid. But some people say to me, oh, gee, Doc, I, can I have the almond milk? Can I have the coconut milk? Yes, you can. And you could even have a little bit more. If you really want to scrutinize, uh, if you want to look up exactly where you are with the carbohydrates, but I gave you this recipe because the way I'm giving it, you're always going to hit that 18. And that is going to work with so many people on your DM2s, my diabetes mellitus type 2, my weight loss, um, depending on what we put in it, what type of berry, um, certainly with a banana and the plant-based uh, protein, it's going to work for a lot of my GI patients. So again, um, this is a real go-to drink. And... Uh, so remember what I always say, better outcomes from better intakes.